All right, welcome back to another episode of our Guild with One playthrough in Nightfall. And we ended up our last episode coming from Cantha to the island of Istan. You can't, I mean, it's pretty big. Is it bigger? Is it bigger than um, Jingjie Island? I suppose it is. Yeah. Uh, so we'll call it the Kingdom of Istan. That might be a better word for it. It's quite large. Um, anyway, uh, finishing up this first part until we can get to the mainland of our Nightfall campaign. And we noticed right away there's quite a large difficulty increase as one of the commenters Tar Heel pointed out. Yeah, a player coming to Nightfall for the first time might be overwhelmed because this is the first time you have to not just worry about your own skill bar, but also the skill bars of your companions and your party. And those all happen to be different uh, professions usually. So it's a lot to think about. It could be overwhelming. And honestly, it is a little overwhelming, even for me. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to uh, play around with some builds. I'm going to go to a very like typical super op mesmer build and i want to go pick up sosuke uh over here in zelon what's it called zelon reach zelon reach i notice the game developers they like to use this word reach a lot it seems unless it's just in my head it seems like there's like alona's reach there's zelon reach there's probably some other reaches. Those are the two that come to mind. Maybe they didn't use a lot. It just seem, seems like a lot. And I think after last mission, I think I'm allowed to talk to the Sunspear Scout and get some bounty action. No, I can't. I need to be a little more famous here. I'm just a uh, nobody from faraway lands. I haven't gained any respect among the Sunspears yet. Well, let's go do that. Let's go... Let's go get uh, another hero. And it might be it might be nice having some elementalists because I do have quite a few elementalist skills that would be able to make use of. I'm gonna blow up this level two juvenile blade to termite with an e surge. Wow, it doesn't one shot him really. That's interesting. Right, let's probably mind rack first. There we go. No? Wow. I don't do enough damage at all. That's disappointing. Can I go this way? It looks like I can go just right over there. Uh oh, level six is getting serious. <laughs> there we go. I had to throw in an unnatural signet there. Yeah, there's not really much much reward for me fighting these low-level enemies. I mean, I'm level 20. My teammates are level 16. They're like level 2 and 6. I'm just going to run past them. There's not really any point of me attacking them. The cool thing about Nightfall is... I mean, it happened the same way in, in Factions. The, the enemies are really quite varied from campaign to campaign. I really like that the game didn't skimp on the character models. They really tried to make each place look totally different with the terrain, the architecture, the enemies. Everything looks very unique from camp. Like, like pretty much just from a snapshot, you... If anyone played the game before, they'll be able to tell what area of the game you're in, like, immediately because of how how much effort they put into the different architecture, even even like the vegetation and stuff. It's it's if they reused assets, I'm sure they might. They probably did here and there, but it's really hard to tell where they did it, in my opinion. OK, we're here now. What I just got to go through here still level party level four i seem to remember the party size being uh varied 
through these areas, but still only four people. So I'm going to be, I'm going to, coming up in this playthrough, I'm going to be doing some different stuff than I did in the past. I've obviously only played through this, with this character so far in all of the playlist. This will, be, once I get to the mainland, uh, I'm thinking I'm going to play a new character just to go back and experience these lands as a new player would to Nightfall. I feel like it's it's fun, it's fine experiencing as a level 20, but it just seems it seems a little out of place here. And honestly, if I'm comparing um if I'm comparing uh what am I what am I trying to say? If I'm comparing factions to Nightfall, I kind of like that factions brings the character right up to speed into the level 20 actions in factions. This this stuff doesn't really make sense to me to force the the characters from uh previous campaigns to come to the low level area i suppose that's why kamadan became so popular as a hub area though because low level characters and high level characters can come here easily but at the same time yeah it it, it feels like they should have done the same thing they do with factions where new characters come and they just go Maybe keep Kamadan as the location where you come, but they should you should immediately just come to the docks, I feel like, and then be able to go to the mainland. It doesn't quite make sense to me why they would make us do this. I'm glad that there's quests available, but I feel like it should be... I mean, this is an optional quest, but you know what I'm saying? I know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I feel like... I feel like it's kind of it, it, it slows the player down a little bit too much I mean I guess they they wanted to give players a chance because they're gonna be they did give you heroes that you've never used before and you do need to kind of get up get them up to speed maybe that's why but I don't know maybe I'm convincing myself I'm like having this internal debate whether I'm right or wrong. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. You decide. You can get what I'm talking. Oh, we finished it. What? We finished it? Let's talk to him. Did I miss did I did I skip over dialogue? Let's see how infinite these eternals are when they meet my spells head on. You make a good team. What's the case attitude? I really like his attitude. What did he say? My name is Sosuke. You're lucky you've come upon come upon me in a good mood. Oh, he isn't so sunshine and rainbows, I guess. I fry people for looking at me like that. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I'm usually very careful with elemental magic. I wouldn't hurt a fly. Well, perhaps if it was if it so this is wrong grammar. It should be if it were Vernon. That is a uh, wrong grammar there. All right. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go to the sun docks to turn this quest in. One thing I'm eager to do also is check out the skills, the skills trainer. I'm going to go talk to him really quick. See if I can get some decent nightfall skills. That'll be nice. That'll be nice fall. I don't know. There's a little mm, morning. What are they? They look very sad, those players. Again, I mentioned last episode. This this is where all the players are. Kamadan. So if you are looking for some population in this game, look no further. No further. I almost messed up the grammar there too. Field General Hayao. Oh, he's their trainer. As his trainer, I think at best you knew something about your people. Susuke, Sosuke is driven by relentless curiosity and always offering advice, commentary, and wisecracks. Do not let that deceive you. His unique attitude and boundless curiosity, blah, blah, blah. Okay. He, they tried to add a little bit of lore and storyline. I like that. I like that they did that. Oh, he's a Zaishen. Kind of like a trainee. It's kind of like the, uh, the uh, adventurer guilds thing in prophecies i guess but it's the canton version of it all right cool we got one new hero 
So far we have Cost, Uncoro, Talcora, and Meloni, and Sosuke. So they got five heroes so far. Plus Mox. I don't count him yet because I'm not I'm I'm not allowed to use him. Alright, let's talk to this skills trainer. See if I can get anything interesting for my mesmer. Because right now I'm allowed to only use prophecies and faction skills. So there's a lot of core skills here. I have it I have it separated by campaign. So let's look at the nightfall campaign. Whoa, quite a bit. This is a good one. If target foe is attacking, that foe and adjacent foes are interrupted and take 15. That would be good for my Keystone Signet build, right? Um, mistrust. That's a really good one. If the, ne the next spell that target foe casts on you... Oh, that cost on, cast on one of your allies fails and deals 100 damage to that foe and all the nearby foes. It's, okay, so it's, it's clumsiness for spells. That's what that is. Wastrel's Demise is a really good one, I think. Target foe is Hex with Wastrel's Demise. Each second while Hex target foe and all adjacent foes that foe. Take 10 damage and additional 10 damage for each second. That is crazy. I'm going to get that. Look at the casting cost and time and speed. Why? I mean, it's only 10 damage, so it's it's 50 damage. No, it's, it's 20 damage, right? But it ends if target foe uses a skill. So, so this is best used with, in in um, in combination with interrupts and stuff, making sure they don't get any skills off. Honestly, probably better if I use this and then I, I have a bunch of henchmen that have interrupts. Whoa, this is a great. I've never seen this one. Interrupt target foe for 10 seconds. Target foe is hex with web of destruction, disruption. And then when this hex ends, that foe is interrupted again. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, it interrupts no matter what. It interrupts an attack. It interrupts a spell, interrupts a skill. Uh, so, but 10 seconds is a little bit too long. I feel like, I feel like if you have a well-oiled team, the the person you cast that on is probably going to be gone or close to gone by the time that 10 seconds is up. Target foe takes 75 damage. All hostile summoned creatures in the area. So this is good against minion masters and ritualists. Uh, I think I want to get... I'm not going to pick up anything yet. What's hypochondria? Transfer all conditions from all foes in the area to target foe. So it's kind of like a reverse epidemic, right? I don't see the use of that, if I'm being honest. Not sure about that one. All right, I'm going to I'm going to wait because there's another skill trainer whenever we get to the mainland. Uh, so that's good to know. It's good to know that there's some cool skills out there. Who do I talk to now? I need to talk to... I need to rally the shun, Sun Spears in Chur here of the fields. A little bit of a relaxed episode. Hope you guys are enjoying my commentary. I'm just going to keep speaking my mind about this awesome game. I'm not praising... You know, no, you know, there's some stuff that I'll find that I'm not sure why they did. I complain here and there, but overall, look at my hours played. This is one of the best games ever made. No doubt. Okay. Wow, they're really making me backtrack through here. One thing I haven't done is when I have here, since I have heroes, I haven't tested out any of the henchmen. Honestly, with how my skills are set up, I would assume if I grab some henchmen, they might be a little more powerful than my heroes at this point. At least once I get like level 20 ones. I also need to, I need to get their equipments up. Like I gave him some green items, but I need to get their runes set up too. Um, here we go this is all the sun spears there's like 30 people here 
if that. Yeah, there's like 20, 30 people. But she's just doing some motivational speech. And I was thinking the other day, or uh, after my last episode, this last name, Asa, isn't that, isn't, our, 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 uh, our leading lore correspondent in the chat, or in the comments, isn't this Asa name, isn't this a famous name in, uh, in Guild Wars lore? I feel like, I feel like that name looks familiar. Varish Asa. I want to say this is the greatest collection of VRs I've ever seen. Today we make really. This is the, this is the greatest collection. <laughs> oh, he's just, she's just talking about me, of course. Everything must be made ready for the assault. Speak with his assistant to help up the meeting. To help set up the meeting, I should be there presently. What is this quest? Speak with assistant Hana. Hana. To gain access with Elder Sul. Sul. Alright, a lot of running around and talking this episode. Apologies. Uh, busy man. It keeps me busy. Okay. Has concerns. Must inform General Elder Sul of our intentions. Yes, we are ready. All right, here's the consulate docs. Cutscene. Let's go. Cornea, why have you gathered your sun spears? Varish has denied your charges and banned your followers from Corna. I feared as much. As of this moment, Varish, Asa, and her supporters are enemies of Alona and of the Sun Spears. Varish is warned and ready for us now. We must sail for Gandara and confront her before it's too late. Istani ships would be of great help. You would plunge Alona into civil war. We have not yet exhausted diplomatic channels. With respect, Elder, we know what we have seen with our own eyes. Varish is a danger. It is our duty as Sunspears to defend Alona. My Sunspears will perform their duties with or without your aid, Elder. Will the Astani fleet support us or not? Yes. Yes, we shall. And may the five gods preserve us all. Sounds like they got new voice actors for their cutscenes. Like, um... My character used to be the voice of Spike from Cowboy Bebop with uh, Steve Blum. Definitely not him in, anymore, it sounds like. And Don Coro's voice actor is awesome. That's like one of the best voice actors I've heard in this game so far. Oh, right. Oh, okay, we can talk to Dinja. Let's do that this episode. I get to see the world. I've been stuck in Istan for so long. So, uh, after... After Nightfall came out, they came up with these um, heroes to reward people who owned one or both of the other campaigns. So if you own Prophecies and Nightfall, you can go back to Lion's Arch and you can get a Necromancer hero, which I 100% am going to do that. And then if you own Factions in Nightfall, you could go back to Kanang City and get an assassin um hero if i'm being honest i kind of wish then my were a um ritualist but then my has that cool factor i feel like um yeah it'll be cool she's got a really awesome lore they did a good job with her um, and then let's talk to this no no Oh, there's an armor vendor here? Level 60. Ah, so... Oh, that's cool. 
that's another thing that's another thing that young or uh uh players new players to faction or to not factions but prophecies they might be tempted to try and come here as quickly as possible it might be one of the earliest correct me if i'm wrong this might be one of the earliest max armor vendors in the game true or false looks like cool armor too sun spirit and the design there's two different styles here do you guys like my my current armor style i've been i got it from drachnar's forge you know guild wars fashion wars it's all combined let me know in the comments if i need to update my threads here i heard some people say threads sounded cool so i tried it uh we have ships and man so this is leading us to the mi next mission we're not gonna do it yet let's not do it let's get the other heroes let's go back to um so there's ascalon no Training city that's chasing zenmai we're gonna do that one where's the elias one krita let's do this one first all for one and one for justice and we're gonna go to lion's arch should be easy to do this because we got heroes now and then meet lion guard figo in lion's arch and we're gonna get a necromancer is there a quest tied to this or do we just get him right away let's see i can get melona and escalates that's got so scary for this too What's he running? He's running fire, obviously. Maloney, right? I captured a skill for her. Um, um, obviously I could use all of these if I wanted, but I'm gonna get the skills that I unlocked for now. If it gets to be too difficult, I might I might use some of those. Um, yeah, so she's got it, she's got an elite skill. An earth prayer. She's running earth prayers, it's perfect. Nice. And then Escalate Sosuke. We can give him Elemental Attunement. That's a core one. We did we capture that one? That's from core. I capture. I remember catching uh, Lightning Surge. Mind Burn might be nice. What's Elemental Attunement? Yeah, let's use this. And then let's give him not Inferno. He's running Earth and Fire? What are you thinking? Are you crazy? Who taught you? <laughs> his 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 uh coach is like very offended right now. Incendiary bonds, of course, that's a great one. And of course meteor no I'm <laughs> not I'm done with Meteor Shower for now. Uh let's get him. What's another good fire one? Fireball is good. Instead of flare. And then he's got lesser energy. So let's get him firestorm. Why does it give him zero energy? That's weird. Did, did did Aura of Restoration always give energy? Is that what I'm confused about right now? I feel like it used to only heal. Interesting. Alright, we're just going to do this for now. I don't even know if that's necessary. Because he's using this. But let's just do it. It's not a bad build. This, this catches them on fire. This catches them on fire. This one's AoE. And then these three are AoE. Relatively low cooldowns. So. He should be dishing out some damage. Um, He's only level 11. That's disappointing, actually. I need to keep an eye on these boats. You wouldn't believe one necromancer even tried to import an animated remains of his wife. Creepy. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, it teleports us to Bloodstone Fen. What does he want? More Sun Spears come to Tyria. How interesting. Perhaps even... Oh, I didn't mean to skip that. Darn it. 
Um, so he knows about Sun Spears. He get he's gonna come with us. That's cool. We're just gonna fly through here, I think. Bringing Sosuke was a good idea because these these elementals are weak against fire. And they're casters, so me going energy surge is a great idea. Good job. I'm smart. This this build is a lot more effective than the nuker build. Oh, he's a minion master. What level are always made? Level six minions. Here we go. <laughs> wow, he's just a huge. He's a great use. Definitely gonna be running him as a minion master though. miss this area of, fa of prophecies we're very powerful here now since we got some action skills we got some prophecy skills that's the thing about um once the new campaigns came out just by default if you bring skills from the other campaigns into prophecies you're just at a huge advantage because these generally speaking the skills that were introduced in the other campaigns were just slightly if not completely stronger than anything in prophecies granted for mesmer that's not exactly the case i think i i believe most of mesmer's most powerful builds and skills are from prophecies actually but like energy surge is a core skill if i'm not mistaken so core and prophecies has really good power uh, skills for Mesmer. So if you're thinking about playing Mesmer, highly recommend starting from Prophecies, actually. And then now, whenever I get here, when I get my heroes, my Mesmer heroes, it's gonna be the biggest power spike you've ever seen. Just imagine how much damage and how effective my single player character is times multiplied by each mesmer hero that i pick up look at that damage i mean i just spike for like 150 200 damage it's unbelievable So we got Elias. Next up is Zenmai. Urulai, the inimical. Im inimical. I don't know that word. I'll have to look up that word after this. A necromancer. Is he using a is he using an elite skill? Could I have brought a a uh spirit signet of capture? Oh, he's not so bad. Come show me your injustice, and I will prove that beliefs are broken as easily as the men who hold them. Time has come, Urali. Will you walk backwards in a grin's embrace, or will you turn back and be struck down as a coward? Look, surely this is a sign that our gods have not abandoned us. They come now, in my time of need. I don't like where this is going. Get some empathies up. Go. Who's leveled up? Did I level up? Oh, top four leveled up. Nice. They level up pretty fast. Do they? Do heroes level up faster than player characters? We saved some of the Crytons here. Good job, Elias. Did we finish? Yeah, we finished. Return to Clerk Arlon in Kamadan. Um, 
Okay, we gotta go back to Kamadan now. A lot of traveling and running around in this episode. Where's he at? There he is. And then next up is Zenmai. Hopefully she's not at level... What's he? Okay, what's it say? He was a member of the White Mantle. However, an encounter with the Temple of Ages convinced Elias he has a special mission as Grint's Hand of Just Judgment. Those who perish and are returned to life are expected to live their lives well, lest Elias return them to Grint's cold embrace. Very cool lore. He's like uh anti-hero, right? Is that what you call that? Yes, it is. Okay. Let's go to Kaining City. We just left, and now we're back. Ah, it's good to be back in Kaining. Uh, now we talk to Imperial Guardsman Linro. We know where he is. He's the one who took us to Alona in the first place. I'm going to bring Sosuke, Elias, and Maloney. What's Elias running? He's a... Uh, yeah, he's a minion master. So let's give him... Um, let's give him... All right, hold up. Let me think about this. Okay. I decided to give him Enfeeble and for, for curses to help activate um, Discord, which shouldn't really have any problem because he has some hexes, uh, but I, I gave it to him anyway. And then um, Blood of the Master. I totally forgot about that skill. It's really good for Minion Master. Um, tasting Zenmai. Let's go. So she's um, an assassin. Recently got off the boat. She has spent some time search, soul searching at Xingjing Monastery. I see. Let's go to Bukdek Byway. I think she's right outside Canning City. If I remember correctly. And then this will give us an entire team. We'll have our full team of heroes after we get Zenmai. I mean, we would if we could use Mox, but I'm not using him. I refuse. And I think I have quite a few assassin skills I can use. I can put on her. I I have like assassin's promise, and I might have one other one. So all of my teammates, all of my heroes, will have a, uh, elite skills. Oh, it's kind of far. Might have been faster to go from marketplace actually wrong way isn't it yeah milani she's i should i should make her multi-class actually now that i think about it because if i made her like a warrior i could at least give her like sprint and maybe something else i should have done that still like i don't even know which i don't even know what these skills do i have zero dervish experience Wow, once you get heroes, the screen becomes very cluttered. Look at all these things. I could just like, I can just cover my whole screen now. Look at that. That's a little, that's a little too much. I'll just, I'll just cram them on the side here. I wish they made where you can select the heroes from their bar here. Then it would make this redundant right i could just say hey i could click here click on Quoro, and then click a skill or see his health down i could click his health there but it's kind of redundant having all of these there that's better i guess now i can't see the map though this is a little too much let's just do three three very cluttered hmm Hey, Brian. Hey, all these exotic sounding names in it. Hi, Brian. Oh, he's, uh, he's Crichton. I guess that's why. Judging from his, well, his, uh, looks. I'm gonna close these. It's just too cluttered. Can't see what's going on. All right, then my let's see looking good 
She's cool looking. Angers? <laughs> okay. Uh, Sounds fair, sorry, never heard of you. It seems some of you, you are some use in a fight. Mosing, a masterless, oh, she's a mosing, a masterless assassin. I moved from, she's like a freelancer. Fortunately, my most recent employer was kidnapped by my former comrades, the Amfa. Right, she used to be Amfa. You were forced those poor souls to drink from their corrupted chalice, turning them into mindless, afflicted monsters. I know the location of their hideout in the Undercity. Okay, let's go to Undercity. I, ne I, I actually never went down there, so. This mission's a little bit longer than the Elias mission. Run over there. Must be a relatively safe part of town because I'm not seeing a couple enemies over there, but very uh, safe run through here so far. Here we go. Bingo. Takes a little bit of time to ramp up this build, but once I get Arcane Echo and then Energy, energy Surge uh, queued up, I'm just spamming, spamming away. Oh, use Spike's Trap. No, Milani Cost, don't go over there. Oh, too late. I can't see my mini my teammates minions. If I push Y it only shows me my minions. Which I don't have any. Uh am I going the right way? Uh can it looks like I can go this way. No. No, I can't. I think I need to go around here. Canning City, always a maze. Not amazing, it's just a maze. Get him, Koss. Gonna be leveling up. Oh, yeah, Koss gotta level up. Get him some strength. Dunkora leveled up. Very good. Soon, when I get my hero team that I like, I am going to start upgrading their armor with runes and stuff. But it gets... That's when it gets really... It really expensive is outfitting your heroes. You could spend easily like 100k on various runes and insignias and all that. And the weapons. That's why I'm glad I was spending some time collecting some green items, like the like the sword and shield I got for Koss. I mean, like, marksmen and assassins, I'm pretty sure they all do piercing damage, so... That shield he's got, he's using Jeffrey's shield. That plus 10 piercing damage, he's gonna be pretty tanky against the Amfa. Undercity, first time coming down here. Nice to have a teammate. I think we gotta talk to her again once it resets like this. Oh, she's still with us. There we go. How far do we still man, this is quite a run. Get a little power up here. Mm -hmm. 
never hurts to reduce conditions since we are going up against the um file they use a lot of conditions so this will be nice It's quite, even though this is under city, this feels less cramped than the above city. Like, look how tall everything is. Look over there, Baku. I guess that's not true. I guess we did come here after Shinji, Senji's corner. I think we did come this way. I remember Baku. Uh, they can hit us from here. This is one of the things I don't like about Guild Wars. Like, look how far down they are. They're all the way down there, but because they're in this little this little ring, they might as well be stand he might as well be standing right next to us. Illusion of depth. Oh, he cast it on me, huh? I thought he was gonna cast it on Koss or Malona, Maloney. All right, heal up, guys. Only one single monk almost wiped our entire team. Ray of Judgment is just so strong. This way, huh? Like I go down this way. Thought we were done with the afflicted. It's like we never left. Or like they never left. Depending on how you think about it. Flashing blades, that would be a nice elite to put on. Um, then my also make her a little bit tanky. Because the assassin hero is nice having an assassin's hero, but they do tend to they do tend to get blown up pretty quickly. Okay, with the level up. Let's save it and put it in fire magic. there just a little bit further all the terrains really changing we're like in randomly in a cave now so the Amfa hang out in this cave gosh canning city is massive like canning city in guild wars 1 for some reason feels larger than in guild wars 2 is it, am i crazy for saying that it seems true Okay. This one's a elementalist boss. At last, at last, the ceremony could not begin without a most important player. Then, my my dear, you've kept me waiting a long time, too long. But it is an auspicious day that brings us together again. Did you truly think you could escape, Zen? My, you come to rescue me from these these madmen. I'll free you from the Amva and then free you. Oh, her voice. <laughs> I'm not going to do her voice. Don't, do not make my mistake. Uh, dealing with Lael is a bonus. Such bile, anger, you're as cold as ever, Zen Mai. Maybe if you weren't so frigid, you'd move a little faster. You see? You see? You're already too late for that one. <laughs> I ran out of time. Past is a shadow that looks behind us all, waiting to embrace it. Wow, she's tough. Zen Mai is a cool cat. 
a poet now, are we? You play a many things in my first you run from your past like a mole that cannot face the sun, blah blah blah, let your blade speak. Know the truth of your heart. Alright, yada yada, let's fight. I'm pretty sure you do not stand even a single chance, except he's using Yeah, he's gone. I didn't do any damage. He did blow up Sosuke though. He's back. We finish? Stop the Amphal from creating new afflictions. Did he die too quickly? What happened? Oh, okay. He went down real fast. He's just a tourist. Oh, he ha he's having a bad day. I'm used to being all tied up in my work. So can we untie them or something? Okay, we just gotta wait. I remember thinking at some point in this game when Assassin came out, I I kind of wish they had like a stealth, because at the time like World of Warcraft, the th the rogues could stealth. You know, I mean they still can stealth, but I remember thinking that was really cool. In retrospect, I'm really glad that there's no stealth mechanic in this game. That would have made things a little bit confusing. The shadow forms and like the the teleporting that assassins can do. I feel like I feel like that's enough. Alright, my blades have pierced the shuriken as surely as they have cut down these creatures, these demons through my steel. I could feel the same evil. Um, perhaps I need a new employer. Alright, we finished. Clerk Arlen, let's go back. And this will conclude our second episode of the Nightfall campaign. I thought we were going to do the Consulate Docks mission. But we, I, I wanted to get this full team of heroes. Um, the problem though is they're all less, they're all like under level twenty. Is it gonna be possible to do the docks with these low level heroes? I guess we'll find out in next episode. <laughs> yeah, let's see what happens next episode. I might need to level them up to twenty first before taking them on. So Zenmai was a member of the Amfa gang in Kantha, but she broke with that criminal gang when it embraced the Canton flag as a gift of the gods. Now she's Mo Zing. Very cool name. A traveling blade, a masterless assassin, selling her services to the highest bidder. Very cool. Alright, so we got all the heroes. Let's go ahead and move into the consulate docks. And this will be where we start. Look at our whole team. Level 12. That's just too low. But I need to get them level 20 ASAP so they can be useful coming up. What is she what is she using? Oh, she almost has a full skill bar. She's using some really good skills. Uh except she's got Yeah, that's right. She's got lead attack, dual attack. Uh, offhand attack and dual attack. She's got a dash. She's got a She's got a shadow step and a heal. So let's give her Flashing blades. That would be perfect. The faction skill This one is for 22 seconds It's like whirling defense, but for an assassin in other words. Yeah It's better Good make her ranger give her whirling defense, but um, I might do that. I need to get I, I want to make them all I might make them all rangers and uh, Get them some pets. It might be cool to run a cheeky eight-man pet build But let's go ahead and make Alona a warrior for now and then we'll give her um, Brent Get her into battle as fast as possible and give her Are there any adrenaline? There's no adrenaline for size skills, I guess. 
Cost use it. Cost is already using watch yourself, so we don't need two watch yourselves. I don't know. Wild blow. That might be good. He doesn't have any adrenaline anyway. If it hits, this attack could result in a critical hit, and any stance being used by your target ends cannot be blocked. That might be nice. All right, very good. A little bit of a long episode, a lot of running around, a lot of teleporting. Sorry about that, but it is what it is. This is episode two of our playthrough. Next episode, we are going to do consulate docks. We're going to try and do it with these low levels. If it doesn't work out, I might have to, you know, try and level them up uh, before that. It's going to be a tough one. But anyway, thank you for watching. As always, like and subscribe, blah, blah, blah. See you next time. Bye.